We're going to look at personal protective equipment, especially as it relates to the microbiology lab. This is going to look at the coat apron sort of thing, the eye protection, hand protection, and foot protection as well, because these all become very important when we are dealing with microorganisms of any kind. When we look at the coat, we often talk about a standard type lab coat, which has long sleeves and it basically is a protective layer. One of the important things about the lab coat is at the end of the day, you take it off and you get it laundered. You don't hang it on a hook. This should get laundered to be able to take away the organisms that you came in contact on that day. And these are very important because this is one of the ways that we sanitize things to remove whatever we were working with. The other sort of thing you can have is an apron. In this particular case, it's a vinyl apron. And the vinyl apron is basically water impermeable, so any splashes or anything you have like that doesn't soak into the clothing. The lab coat tends to be cloth, which means things can soak into it, whereas the apron like this gives you an impermeable layer to keep things out. When we look at eye protection, we've got a lot of different types. These happen to be safety glasses. You can see they go on like a regular pair of glasses. They've got a thick layer on the edge so that the eyes are protected from splashing. This will keep harmful material out. If you wear contact lenses, you should definitely wear safety goggles. If you wear glasses, depending on the type of lab you're in, it may not be necessary to have them. These provide a modest amount of protection and they are rather inexpensive. These are goggles and you can see that these fit all the way over the front. They allow you to keep splashes out. It allows for splash protection on the edges. It gives you a larger field of view. These are probably a little bit larger than you would want on our model and therefore a little bit smaller might work but again these are not that expensive and these are relatively easy to work with if we look at face protection and this is nothing more than a face shield and a face shield like this keeps material from splattering onto your face which is very important when you start looking at some of the more serious sorts of things because anything that might splatter up is going to be stopped on the face shield whereas the glasses or the and the goggles protect your eyes they don't protect the rest of your face this you can see is taking everything in front of the ear and it's taking all that and for something to get to the ear it's got to come in on the side rather than coming from the front all of these are very good for certain types of protection but again, anything that is an aerosol needs something to scrub it out. Now, we often talk about these N95 masks and stuff like that. In a microbiology lab, what you're trying to do is you're trying to cleanse the air of any aerosols that might be around, and these are small droplets. A lot of times, a mask like this will work because small droplets coming up will come in contact with the material and will be absorbed on. This particular type is made to be disposable at the end of the day. This is not the high efficiency type, but this still in cases like a BSL-1 or a BSL-2 lab is going to be good enough to give you the protection you need. Once you get to things that are aerosol transmitted and everything like BSL-3, no, this is not good enough. We look at this particular type of face mask as a general type that we would use. You also need hand protection. Hand protection basically comes in the form of a glove. You need something that you can manipulate. You need something that you can feel through. And these are what they call the standard type examination gloves that are made. You put on your hands and you touch things and you can feel things and you can feel enough detail through them because they are thin. They do tear, so you have to be careful about them. And in today's society, we can go through gazillions of these things a day because oftentimes when you go from one thing to the next, you're going to take them off and you change them around. So we've got hand protection like that. One of the things you might use occasionally are things like this and these you can see are much larger they are form-fitted to the hand you place your hands in them you can see it's got a texture on the one side and this is what you would use if you were sanitizing or using some heavier materials because these are more resistant to tearing these are a much heavier glove so you can use this for cleaning and things like that if you're using disinfectants which are harsh chemicals that can irritate the skin it's often good to have a pair of gloves like this on and not the examination glove 
and then these gloves can be cleaned up very easily. You can wash them off, and then at the end of the day, you can even rinse them out, put them up to dry, and then you've got them back the next day. So these are a very efficient way of being able to do things in the laboratory. Last thing we look at is foot protection. In a laboratory, you should always have foot protection, and the foot protection is going to keep stuff off of your feet. In a microbiology lab, normally we worry more about aerosols or things dropping down, and we don't want to expose bare skin on the feet, and therefore we would put foot protection out like that. We don't necessarily look at something that is going to be what you might have on a construction site where you're going to have to have something that's going to protect your toes from falling heavy objects. But rather, in here, we want to have something where your feet are not on the ground, where you don't have bare skin exposed, and you can readily go out and use these without any problem. So when we look at personal protective equipment, we are dealing with things that you use that protect you from other things on the outside. When you look at the mask that you put over your mouth, that basically gives protection both ways. It keeps the individual who is on the outside protected from what you've got. It also protects you. So personal protective equipment, very important part in microbiology.